Hello and thank you for joining us today here at Complete Payroll Solutions. Today we're going to do a quick overview of our Platinum Pay Express online platform, which is integrated with Hub, our employer portal for reports and employee management. We are happy to say that Hub is directly embedded into Platinum Pay Express for a single sign-on experience, and the sign-on is using multi-factor authentication so you know your account is secure. It's a three-step process, so first step is security question, second is passphrase and image, and third would be password. Once all of those credentials are entered in and confirmed, then you're going to find yourself here on the dashboard. So our dashboard is very user-friendly. Um, you're not going to get lost on this dashboard. You've got a couple different ways to access the same place, so um, everything you need is right here in your fingertips. I'm going to review this with you really quickly. We've got a, a series of uh, menus of tiles and widgets. So your widgets, you've got the ability to set some reminders for yourself if you need to remember to do something one, two, three, ten payrolls from now. Um, recent reports, so if you just want to log in really quick, just pull one of the reports from your most recent payroll. You've got the ability to do that really quickly here. I'll show you a couple different ways to access reports as well. Um, so today we're going to focus mostly on the menu. So you can see here we've got the ability to go to our employees. We're going to click on that right here. It's going to provide us with a full employee listing. You can toggle through or search, but for the sake of time I'm just going to click on an employee it's going to provide us with all of the employee status index cards. So uh, we've got personal status, their pay information, so up to three pay rates, salary, any notes you need to set. Um, payroll info is where we're going to find things like their scheduled earnings, scheduled deductions, direct deposit. You can add, change anything on here, house up to four direct deposit accounts. Tax info is where we're going to find our W-4s, state W-4 if necessary, local taxes again if necessary. Additional fields is where we're going to find um, most often reference on the additional fields is our memos. So 401k match, things like employer sponsored, sponsored health, that's where you're going to find that. Pay history. Uh, just a really cool little graph for you. You can see fluctuation in employees' pay. This is a salaried employee, so you don't see very much fluctuation. Uh, but if they were hourly commission, for example, you'd see some changes here. And then a quick place to reference their pay history by check date, by check ID, or pay. Uh, you could just click on those and pull them up really quickly. Um, moving on to our reports. Um, if we click on reports, it's going to bring us to our report library. Here is where we have the ability to access our single reports. Um, so if you like to pull up individual reports, so just your payroll register, this is the place to go. I can show you also in just a moment where to go to access all of your payroll reports in one lump file. Um, so we've got the ability to provide you with both formats. So here is all of the individual reports, really easy. You click on the PDF icon of what you're looking for. It opens up in a separate window for you. So once you've printed it, download it, whatever you want to do, you just X out of that window. It's not going to close your whole browser out on you, which is really nice. Um, distributed pay stubs is where you find their employees, direct deposit vouchers, and stubs period end reports. This is a sample company, so there's not any filings that we've done for a sample company, but if it was a standard company, you'd find your 940s, your 941s, your, your quarterly uh, wage summary reports, and then your year-end W-2s for each employee would be listed on this tab here. Um, so as we talk about reports, again, we can offer you the ability to see the lump file of all of your payroll reports in one PDF file. We're going to do that in Hub. Hub is going to provide us with so much more than that though, and I'm really excited to show you everything that it can do. Again, it's our employer portal for reports and employee management. It's fully customizable to what your company needs, what your company and what your employee needs. So not only are you getting your administrative access via Platinum Pay Express here, but your employees also get an ESS, so where they access their stubs, um, their W-2s, uh, and here you can see a hub clock. So we've got the ability to turn on a time clock for you. So if the employees had that access, they'd see that on their ESS also. They'd log in, sign in, sign out. Um, so we've got the ability to set a time clock for you. Also had the ability to set a tracking system for PTO. So it pairs directly with our accruals that we set for you behind the scenes. Employees would be able to see their balances and they'd be able to request paid time off. 
Once they put this request through, it directly integrates with the time clock. It pays out that time when that date comes. And then the clock then directly integrates right into our payroll. So it saved you a ton of time and it's all done via email. If an employee requests some time off, you get an email, you click approve. The employee's then just been automatically approved by again, another automatic email telling them that their uh, time was approved and they're good to take that time off. So really saving you a ton of time just on those two items here alone. Um, so moving down, this is an administrator who is also an employee with the company. So we're gonna have kind of the full gamut here. So I'm gonna be able to show you everything. So for an employee, this is what they'd see, their pay stubs. So quick reference to the most recent stubs, but you can also click on their full stub history. This also is the same for administrative. They click on history here and it gives you your full employer report history as well. So you just click on which report you wanna view you open it up to download it. Again, download, print, whatever you'd like, X out and it brings you back to where you were. Same thing with those payroll reports. Click on the most recent or whatever pick, check date you want, open it up, and here's all of your reports in one big lump file. So uh, whichever format you'd like, single file or lump file, we've got the ability to do both of those for you. So moving to the right back over here, a few different settings. So it's gonna give you a quick reference for next pay date, pay period. Um, and we're gonna talk mobile for a moment here. So we've got the, uh, we've got apps. So you can download an app, either the via Google Play or the App Store. It's specific to your company. It's an app that can help you administratively. And it's also an app that can help your employees with their ESS. So if they prefer to do everything via app on their smartphone, we can do that for them. Not only do we do the app, but we can also turn on the capability to provide you with text messages. If it's something that you and your employees like, they can choose either text or email. Text for administrators would be things like payroll reminders or your total cash required against a payroll. For employees, it would be this is the net amount that's hit your direct deposit account this morning. Um, so really great abilities uh, there as far as mobile phones are concerned now. Um, moving to the right, we can connect with our colleagues by adding a company directory. You can see upcoming paid time off here and any upcoming events and birthdays if you choose to set these. Hub messages, you can set company-wide messages. So if you'd like to alert your employees that there's gonna be a fall festival picnic this Friday, you've got the ability to do that. When they log in, they're gonna see that note there. Um, hub docs and links, kind of an online filing cabinet for you. You can post any links you wanna have your employees be able to directly access, any forms, they can be completely customized to your company. As long as they're exportable in a PDF, we can put them on this site. So while we're talking about an online filing cabinet, I'm gonna show you really quickly our onboarding capability. This system has the ability to take care of all of your employees onboarding. So you add a new hire to your company. You sit them down in front of a desk and you hand them all of their paperwork in a folder. Their W-4s, their I-9s, your customized employer questionnaires, confidentiality reports, whatever it is that they have to file. We can put that all onto this site for you and have the employee complete it via electronic signature. So I'm gonna show you just really quickly what the start page looks like. We're not going to go through a whole new hire, again, for the sake of time, but um, who's being hired here for which company and who's going to be their new hire contact? Who's going to be responsible for their onboarding? You enter that information in, and then we get to our employee information, add in their name, their email address, their hire date, which state do they work for if you're a multi-state employer, and then a welcome message. You also on the next page would select which forms, questions, whatever it is you need them to fill out, emergency contact. Once you hit submit on that, the employee automatically gets an email that says, hello, welcome to the company. It's customized with your name. They fill out their onboarding paperwork. They submit, you get an email back, you approve it, and now the employee is automatically onboarded into our payroll software and ready for their first pay. So you just saved yourself a ton of time and filing cabinet space. So. We think it's a pretty cool feature and we hope you do as well. So we're gonna look at payroll quickly. There's so much more that we can do for you in Hub and we'd really love the ability to show it to you. We hope we get, get that opportunity. Um, so we're gonna uh, go over to payroll now actually at the moment. So uh, taking, a time, taking time to look at payroll, we've got the payroll chart much like that employee chart. We can see the fluctuations in total expense for payroll. And payroll calendar, it would provide you with when you're scheduled to process next or when you did process a payroll. We're gonna click Start Payroll. Provides you with your most recent check date available. 
Uh, you can change the payroll calendar, import hours and pay data from time and labor. This is where that time clock comes into account. So if you did that time clock, you turned that feature on, it's going to automatically import any hours once you've approved all of their pay sheets directly into payroll for you, saving you, again, a ton of time. We're going to do a standard payroll today. We're just going to pay a few employees so you can see what that would look like, but I will show you the features of this Power Grid. Again, it's customizable, so whatever is easier for you. I like to uncheck all employees. I don't want to pay somebody that I don't intend to pay. I'm just going to go down the line here. We're just going to pay a few. So we've got one salary person. We've got uh, somebody here um, in the kitchen, a couple people in the kitchen. We've got a wait staff, so we'll give them hours and we'll give them some tips. Okay. All right, so a few different things we can do. So if we wanted, I can click on Mary here on this little cogwheel, and I can duplicate a row, pay her a second check if I want. I could change her division and department, her pay rate, turn on direct deposit, delete a row. These are all temporary changes. If you want to make them permanently, you got to go to those employees index cards. So you've got the ability to do that. You can even filter. So if you only want to look at your salaried employees first and pay them and get them out of the way, make sure they're all paid, you can do that. Uh, filter it back to all employees, filter it to a specific location if you want, specific division and department. You can sort, uh, you can choose columns, so maybe it's the end of the year and you're only paying a bonus and you don't want to have all of the other columns kind of in your face, you just want to see the bonus column, you can uncheck all of these and just view a bonus column, make it nice and easy for you. Once we're done making all of our changes, we click on Save Changes. And you can actually take uh, a moment to look at grid totals here before you even submit now. So I'm looking here and I've got 130 regular hours, which looks about right. I've got 600 uh, salary dollars. This is pre-calculated, so it's not going to provide me with a gross just yet. Um, and then our charge tip. So my totals feel comfortable for me. I'm going to go ahead and click on continue to get to my submission. Here's another checkpoint for you. It's saying only four of 61 employees have been paid. Is this correct? Um, I'm, I'm comfortable with it, but if you said, oh my gosh, I was supposed to pay all 61, it's not too late. Just click cancel and continue to edit. Today we're going to click on OK. It's going to take some time here to calculate all of our checks. It's doing the full gross to net and looking at specific taxation, so it may take a moment. All right. Here we go. We are almost done. We're going to review our payroll totals now, and again, it's going to take another moment to load and calculate. So a couple things we have on this page. We've got our payroll totals, so your control totals. You've got your payroll dollars, so it's going to provide you with your total cash requirement against this payroll. And then it's got the, the view pre-process payroll register. Really important that you view that every single payroll. It's your last stop to check check date, period, start, and end dates, and review all of the employees gross to net pays. Um, and then once you're comfortable with that pre-process register, we can submit a payroll. So again, here's your totals. Everything looks good to me. Um, and then all of our total dollars and my total bank requirements. So I know exactly what needs to be in my account at this point. Again, via Hub, it's going to send you a text if you turn that capability on as well with that total bank requirement also, which is really great. Um, we're going to check out our view pre-process register here. Okay, so here's all of my employees I just paid gross to net. If anybody's direct deposit, anybody's live check, I can scroll down, verify my check date and my period start and ends are correct. And if everything looks good, then we're ready to submit. You can process as is. You can process with adding special instructions to your payroll representative who will directly get that note when you submit that payroll in our ticketing software. Or you can click just a general contact me before processing. Once you're ready to go, all looks good. Click on Submit. Are you sure? Yes, I am. And it's going to give us a congratulations message. We've submitted payroll. Once it's been printed, the reports are going to be available for you uh, on your portal via Hub or on our report library. So that is Platinum Pay Express in a nutshell. We really hope that you'll give us the opportunity to show it to you in a much more customized one-on-one -on -one demo situation. We have additional videos that we can provide you with as well if you'd prefer videos. Um, but thank you very much for joining us today. Please reach out to your client relations specialist if you're interested in getting an additional demonstration on the platform or hub. Um, we would be more than happy to provide that to you. You can also find us at www.completepayrollsolutions.com. Thank you so much and take